Well, we're back in eastern South Dakota. We try to get down here every year. I mean, it's just tremendous fishing. The situation down here is pretty similar to back home on Devil's Lake in the sense that the story's been the high water, all the new fishing opportunities. But what makes this area different than Devil's Lake where I'm from is there's so many lakes. You know, Devil's Lake is one big lake. Out here, it's just hundreds of lakes. And some of these lakes are pretty good size, but there's been some crazy good walleye bites happening out here this year. So we had to come out and check it out. And this is just classic midsummer fishing in that these fish are starting to slide out a little bit deeper and it's just all about the weed lines. And so we're finding these weed lines in seven, eight, nine feet of water. We're basically just tracing that contour of the bottom bouncer and spinner. And it's just a deadly, deadly pattern that catches a lot of fish down in this part of the world. Right there, right oh, there. There we go. Yeah, that fish smacked it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah just a peppy little guy. Eater. Yeah, go ahead and just lift him right in. This is like a grocery store, you know it? Oh, yeah. Couldn't build a nicer fish to eat. Beautiful. You know, you're dealing with stained water like this, you know, you can fish right below the boat. You don't have to worry about the fish spooking. You can drive right over the top of these fish in eight feet of water, fish right below the boat. And, you know, you're just, you're trying to find a presentation that these fish can find, that they can feel. And so you could use a, just a plain snell with a plain hook and a leech. And sometimes that's a ticket if the fish are off. But a lot of times, a little bit of vibration, a little bit of color, you know, just something that those fish can see, a little bit of flash, that's the ticket. And so we're using a lot of spinner harnesses, we're using a lot of blades out here. But the whole thing with this type of structure, whenever you're fishing weed edges, it's a lot of in and out. I mean, it's, it's, it's never, it never runs in a straight line. It's in and out, in and out. And every time you turn, that inside rod slows down and stops. And so that's where the butterfly blades shine. That's why they're so effective, is that when you slow down with the butterfly blades, that blade keeps turning and it keeps up out of the junk that's on the bottom. It's just slime, there's weeds, there's low-lying moss. And so if your harness touches the bottom, it's gonna get fouled up. And so that's the beauty of the butterfly blades is that yeah, you can fish them at fast speeds, you can fish them at slow speeds, but they keep turning at slow speeds. I'm talking, you know, a mile an hour or less, they'll keep turning and they'll keep it off the bottom. And when you turn and make a lot of sharp turns to stay on that weed line, that is really important. That's why they're so effective. Got them. Like a good bottom bolster bite, you know what? Boy, these fish fight hard. Need the net for that one? I don't think so. I'm just going to lift them in. Oh, come here. Yeah, just lakes are just full of fish like this. You know, there's so many lakes in this country. I mean, it's probably about a 17 inch fish, just a perfect eating fish. There's a lot of bolts out here. It seems like everybody's catching fish. Pretty cool opportunity. And if you like to eat fish, that's as good as it gets. I think one of the keys to remember with this style of fishing, it is an absolutely not finesse in the sense that we're using speed to trigger these fish. And so a lot of times, you know, I might use a 14 pound braid as a main line just so if I get hung up, I can I can rip that bottom bouncer out of snags. I'm using pretty heavy bottom bouncers. You know, a lot of times we're staggering lines where, you know, say if you have yourself and say two kids, in South Dakota, you can use two lines per person. And so you might have say four, six, seven, eight rods out of a boat. And so a lot of times on the front of the boat, you might have a say a three ounce bottom bouncer, even in 10 feet of water, middle of the boat, maybe go two ounces, back of the boat, go an ounce, ounce and a half. Use heavier bottom bouncers off the front of the boat, lighter bottom bouncers off the back of the boat. And then also too, what's really convenient or handy is use a line counter on a low profile reel. Shield sells these reels, just a low profile. You can hold the rod, you know, it's, it's a lightweight reel, but that line counter is slick. And so you can just tell something, let out 22 feet. In the back of the boat, let out 30 feet, whatever it is. It really helps for running multiple lines and keeping them from getting tangled up. 
The snell itself, again, you know, these butterfly blades, you know, they're tied with 14 pound mono. The reason that's important is you can pull these mile and a half, two miles an hour without twisting up your snell. And so you don't want to tie these, you don't want to use spinners, let's say a six, eight or 10 pound test snell because they're going to get all twisted up. I was super excited when Jason uh, invited us to fish down here. I've never fished this part of South Dakota before. Um, and, and it's really different from what we're used to seeing back home. You know, we're northern Minnesota is where North One's based, so we have a lot of clear water lakes. But here, we have these shallow, dirty water lakes, uh, and we're catching walleyes midsummer in eight, nine feet of water right under the boat. So, a uh, really unique fishing opportunity. It was really fun to come down here uh, and explore some new water, explore a little different types type of fishing, different style, and putting a bunch of walleyes in the boat was a big plus too. Got him. Just gotta wait till the rod tip touches the water, huh? <laughs> Look at how hard they fight. That's fun. Oh yeah, look at there, just a chunk, just a chunk of a walleye. There we go. All right, thank you, sir. Here, I'll grab it right out of the net. Just a beautiful golden walleye. Yeah, just a, just a chunky fish. A large part of my job at Northland is doing a lot of the product development the design work, project management, and it's a super, super fun part of the job. At Northland, we have hundreds and hundreds of good ideas, like too many good ideas to come to market. So it's really important for us to find those good ideas and work with our pros like Jason. We have some of the best pro staff in the Midwest and, and figure out what are the absolute best ideas. So we'll, we'll take a large list, narrow it down, and then we get these key products. And from there, we begin our testing phases. And you know, that's kind of what we're out here doing today is playing around some new stuff, playing around some old stuff. But from there, we tweak the product, we narrow it down so it, it truly catches fish. You know, we're not just throwing something out there to our consumer that isn't right for them. A lot of times too, it's, it's a fine balance of getting what our pro staff wants, uh, what we want as a company, but the most important thing is to get what the consumer wants. So our goal is to create the best product for the consumer so it's easy for them to go out, use, and catch fish. Got one? Got one. Pretty easy fishing, just wait till that rod tip hits the water Jeez. and you reel them in. <laughs> rod holder usually outfish you. Fish is staying down. It looked like it came right off the backside of those weeds too. Yep, right where he should be. Boy. Good one? Yeah, yeah, grab the net. Just a respectable walleye. Oh, yeah. There we go, thank you, sir. Yeah, just a great average size, too. You know, just a, most of these fish are less than 20 inches, but a lot of them, you know, most of them are over 17 inches, too, but just a chunk of a walleye. You know, and a lot of these spots where we're catching fish, you know, there's some rock mixed in with the weeds, but, uh, you know, basically any big point or an island that's coming out where you got weeds growing up anywhere from, say, three to eight feet of water, we're just basically just tracing the outside edge of that weed line. A lot of times you can see the weeds too, so that makes it easier, but you're going to be cleaning off some hooks doing this. I mean, you're going to get in the weeds and clean off lines all the time, but a bottom balancer basically works as a big weed guard. That's the beauty of this. You keep them right below the boat, keep your snail short. We're just using a butterfly blade, just a crawler, but just a heavy bottom balancer, a short snail. And that bottom balancer will cut through a lot of weeds. And if the weeds do collect on that bottom balancer, it'll keep your presentation clean. So just really effective pattern for fishing these weed lines on these prairie lakes. You know, the water temperatures are starting to creep up in the low to mid 70s and you know these fish you can just see I mean their metabolism is really starting to pick up and so 
you know, you can definitely fish these bottom bouncers too slow. You know, a lot of times we're running butterfly blades, we're running spinner harnesses. And, you know, a lot of times we're fishing 1.4, 1.5, even up to two miles an hour and just burning them. And a lot of times it seems like the, the faster you fish, the harder these fish will hit these baits. I mean, it's just amazing. You slow down and the bite can actually get kind of tougher. The, the strikes are a little off and you speed up and that rod is just bent over in the rod holder. And so don't be afraid to speed up. I've been lucky to be around kind of through the whole development process of the butterfly blade. We had a lot of help designing it, but you know, it was one of those ideas that kind of started as a concept, but as we started to develop it, it became more and more effective in, in different ways. So obviously it's a spinner that spins at ultra low speeds. That was kind of the main concept behind it. Uh, but later we found out it's an awesome spinner for fishability. It's really easy to fish in tough conditions. Uh, it's really easy for beginners to fish. Uh, and that's because it's plastic. So it's not like a heavy blade, like a traditional metal spinner that when you stop, when there's pauses, it's gonna sink to the bottom. It actually almost kind of suspends. And a lot of times uh, it can be a really good triggering factor for bites too, but it's just a really versatile uh, blade. And to be honest, there's been very few situations, you know, where I really see a metal blade outshine a butterfly blade. So it's, it's a good blade to use all year round, slow, fast. Uh, it's just super versatile and super easy to use. So it, it's become one of my favorites very quickly. You know, one of the things I really appreciated about working with the Northland Fishing Tackle is that, you know, I, I feel like they listen in the sense that we'll get all kinds of prototypes. I've got all kinds of prototypes laying on my bench, you know, and laying in the boat. And I try some stuff that doesn't work and they want to know if it doesn't work. You know, that way we save you the trouble of, of trying or using something that doesn't work. And so that's been a lot of fun. I mean, it, it is fun. It's frustrating. It's challenging testing baits designing baits because ultimately for every one lure that you see for every one lure that works and catches fish we failed with a dozen lures or more that you'll never see it's got to catch fish at the end of the day there's one there's one here we go got him got him all right coming with the net oh Nice one. No, I don't see him yet. Down. It's Feels decent. In. Oh yeah, just a great walleye. Oh yeah, there's a nice one. There we go. All right. Beauty. <laughs> Came off right in the net there, <laughs> bud. That's a great walleye. Nice work, Sam. <laughs> Not done with you Another yet. Another good one on the bottom bouncer. And I tell you what, it doesn't get easier, Jason, than dragging these things around. For some beautiful summertime yeah walleye. we're into making walleyes as easy as possible <laughs> good stuff you know you've caught a lot of fish on that today yeah it's been a great little bait all right let's get her back nice work there off she goes yeah this has been crazy good fishing down here awesome <laughs> hey, thanks thanks for, <laughs> thanks for having me <laughs> oh this is fun and this is something you tell you what you know people make fishing in a rocket science i think too often they make it over complicated this is something anybody can do it's really simple i mean you know all these islands are on your gps and if you don't have a gps you can see a lot of these islands you can see the weeds coming up you just trace a circle around each island and you'll have a limit by the time you get back to the ramp i mean it's, it's just it's just something that anybody can do it's that bottom simple. bouncer and spinner yeah mile and a half an hour it doesn't get any simpler for catching summer walleyes, in my opinion. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and a bunch of fun, too. Yeah, that's the best part about this. It's fun. <laughs>